it's really tough to stay motivated if you take time off. So just get a pump going. Mm. What's up? It's me, Elaine. I'm back! <laughs> I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to be talking with you guys about training and going back to the gym after taking some time off. Let's go to the gym! Should I do my intro again? Hi guys, we just got back from the gym. We're gonna be talking about what to do if you're going back to training after taking some time off. So, if you've taken time off, that's okay. It's pretty healthy to take seasons off of lifting or working out or whatever life or whatever uh, season of life you're in. But uh, for whatever reason, whether it be a vacation, an illness, um, just time off because you've been hanging out with the wrong crowd that are bad influence, just kidding. <laughs> or if you and your husband dive into a lot of binge eating, just kidding. Okay, no, okay. So basically uh, the past year, you know, I've taken some time off, you know, after a vacation, uh, we came back from Florida and uh, we came back from the Philippines in November. Then I was starting to get back into the groove of things and then now I had to go back to the Philippines for 10 days and now I'm back again. So <laughs> I'm trying again to get into the groove of things, which is why I wanted to touch on this subject again to remind myself and to help you guys out there. So let's dive right in. So some things for when you're starting to try to get back to normal, back into your old routine, the important thing to keep in mind is to just start, you know. You don't have to start on a Monday. You don't even have to start the next morning if you've already like not been eating so well half the day and then you want to you know all of a sudden get back onto the eating well and going to the gym thing you know you can start whenever you want to and you can just start with the next meal you can uh, you know have a healthy meal make a protein shake go to the gym whatever just the point is number one to start okay number two uh, is to just go through the motions you're not gonna be um, super motivated at first but you know remembering what you did in the past the routine and just go through the motions honestly like the first day I had to wake up for work um, it was really tough but I just remembered what I would do it's just like get yourself out of bed get into the kitchen you know make your coffee make your meals for work all that like just going through the motions forcing yourself to really do what you used to do gotta calculate my macros again and stick with them and if you don't stick with them it's okay just be gracious to yourself and be patient so I recalculated my macros that I'm gonna be eating for training day and my rest days and I'm tracking my food so I'm just going through the motions even though I miss all the salty and good foods of the Philippines and I wish I could eat like that every day but gotta get back on track and get back on those goals cuz I have registered for my next meet March 23rd Oh, but still, why though? <laughs> you know, just, you know, go through the motions and then in a couple weeks of just forcing yourself to go through the motions, you'll end up back to your old routine. Number three is to, um, as far as going to the gym, you can consult your coach if you have one or if you don't have one, 
Um, you can just go by rate of perceived exertion, meaning that uh, if you go to the gym and you don't know what to do when you first get back, if you're in the mid middle of a program or you want to start one, you know, uh, I would suggest talking with your coach um, or just seeing how you feel and taking it really easy when you get back because no matter what you do, you're going to be sore. Number four is like to just do what you can at the gym or um, in life, <laughs> in eating and life. Just do what you can, you know. I wouldn't go so hard that you won't be able to work out for the next week because you're so sore. But, you know, have fun and just get that feeling of enjoying being at the gym and get those endorphins going because um, after you get moving and all that, you know, you're going to feel good. And just keeping in mind not to put the expectations so high and just go to the gym, um, do like a workout, warm up and all that, stretch, cool down. And then you are automatically going to get those endorphins going and feel much better about yourself, which will lead you to probably having a healthier meal later in the day. When I came back, I was a little sad that my legs were super weak. Um, you know, my squat numbers were, even though it's only like 70 to 80 percent squats, I was like struggling so hard. And it's a little discouraging, but you know, you should set your expectations. Like I know I took 10 days off, my legs haven't been trained, so um, so it's normal to feel a little, the weights to feel a little heavy, or in the beginning you might feel extra good because your legs got recovered. So again, watch, um, don't go too hard because then you'll be really sore even though you feel good. Another thing to uh, take into consideration is that Sometimes when we go on vacation or if you went on a little food tour or anything like that and took time off eating well and tracking your macros, um, you know, it's normal to gain a little weight from being bloated because of excess sodium and if you had a lot of fast foods or, you know, it's not necessarily that you gain 20 pounds or 10 pounds or whatever, it's that you probably really had excess sodium because when you eat out, that's what makes food taste really good. So. Um, that's going to retain a lot of water, so you may be like extra puffy, a little bit more bloated than you're used to. Don't get discouraged. It's just water weight and, you know, if you continue to eat healthy, drink a lot of water and, um, you know, try not to do like a bit, like a jump into a fad diet or cut your caloric intake because you're just going to end up um, getting really hungry and wanting to eat more the next day or you're more at risk for just binge eating again. So. Just, um, yeah, just go to your normal macros and go to maintenance, so whatever you usually eat to be healthy and then um, the weight will come off because the well, more you drink water, go to the gym and eat healthy, then um, all that bloat will go away. No matter what you do, you will be sore, like I said, so make sure you expect that and make sure that you're doing everything properly to recover, such as sleep, see my video on that, <laughs> sleep, you know, eat enough um, macronutrients and make sure you stretch out and if you need to you know take a nice bath or anything whatever helps you sauna you know to recover from muscle soreness or take an ibuprofen and the most important thing and the last thing is to be patient uh, you will get back to where you were uh, and make sure that you stay motivated and that you you know set like I said set your set ah, set your expectations um, you know at an appropriate level and in a couple weeks, if you keep going through the motions and forcing yourself and being very intentional, then you'll probably be right back to where you used to be and uh, it's not even better because you had time to rest and your muscles to recover from all the working out you used to do. So anyways, uh, with that, I'm going to show you guys some clips from my workout today. So I did a weightlifting workout at a very fancy Globo type of gym. and. Actually, yeah, it was kind of cool. It's also very neat that they had the platforms and they did have plates, but it was in pounds. Luckily, today's Thursday, so it was like a lighter workout because Thursday is usually a universal rest day. So it was a lighter workout for me, so I didn't have to experiment with dropping the weights, but I'm not sure if they're okay with dropping the weights. We shall see next time. But anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, turn on that notification so you know when my next video is going to be released. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't take time off. <laughs>